Howdy everyone and welcome to Gwent, the Witcher card game. Now, I never actually played the Witcher, so there's that. But they took that card game from The Witcher 3 and made it into its own spin-off. And you know how I like to play children's card games. Now this is an interesting one, and I'm sure that those of you who have played The Witcher 3 or Gwent or whatever will uh, agree with me, but the gameplay is very different from most card games. A lot of card games focus on combat and damage and all that fun stuff. And here, the goal, the goal is simply to have a stronger uh, You've got the heart board than your opponent. The, the goal is simply to have a stronger board than your opponent, and any uh, damage or afflictions on your opponent's board are purely optional. Hmm. Yeah, first you get a selective mulligan. So, the goal is to have more strength in your opponent at the end of each round. And whoever wins two out of three rounds is the winner. But the twist is that you play one card per turn, and once both players pass, the round ends. But you don't draw... A fresh hand for each round. First round you get your full starting hand of 11 cards. The second round you get another, t each player gets another two cards, and then the last round each player gets another one card. So the order in which you play things and choosing when to stop using up your resources is very important. It's interesting. Let's not get in the way of my axe. There's four factions purple, uh, Blue, and red, and green. Each one of them has a unique faction ability. So my faction ability is that whenever a round ends, all the units in my <clears throat> hand, deck, and graveyard get an extra one strength. And again, since higher strength is better, higher total strength wins a round. This is pretty important. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure what to do here. Honestly, I'm just going to pass. With this deck in particular, but with all the whoever you're playing, you need to play for the long game. There are some factions that are very good at uh, spamming their opponent, spamming their opponent, and rushing them down. But this is not one of them. I mentioned for that battle. Now in this game, there's gold units, legendary what units, do you want to and uh, regular units. Basically, when you're a legendary, you also get uh, hexproof, and uh, you can't be the target of most things. It's an interesting way to do it. Must die. Now he has an ability that lets him duplicate one of his units, so I'll wait till he does that and then I'll scorch it, which uh lets me damage it better. Or lets me remove more units. Let's get this over with. My ability is that I can spawn two uh, wounded guys. He's definitely going to duplicate that guy. Hmm. 
We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Let's get stronger when you play from the graveyard. Salutations. My deck is not necessarily the most. Uh, not necessarily the most focused, but it has some good strategies in there. Right now is the best time to do this. I don't want him to convert it to gold and get and protect it too easily. I could wait for him to waste his power, but it doesn't look like he's doing that yet, so I don't know. My this game has a lot of interesting back and forth. So I'm still winning. So I'm going to play this. Weaken my own guy. Weaken uh, this guy to get rid of it. And we can this guy. <laughs> so now by weakening my own guy, I can use this with double the strength of all my weakened guys. And I want to get him to waste as many resources as possible going into the third round. Because I have this plus my dude commander. Barely. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. I could buff this guy. If he had, if he had a scorch, he would have played it already. Not yet. On the off chance that I get another uh, resurrect spell, I want to have as much effect as possible. Close ranks. I can't pass because, uh. I need your heart! Now we'll just give him the round pretty much. Alright. I passed too early in the first game. It happens. The enemy. Oh, dude, you gave me the rounds. How would you do that? There we go. Yeah. That's why you don't BM, kids. Oh, my goodness. That would feel bad. So now we'll try some of the Zerg Rush faction, the Monsters faction. Yeah. I never actually played the Witcher, and I'm not very familiar with uh, the uh, mythology body. that's present in the various games. So, <clears throat> if I mispronounce any of the names or faction names or abilities or whatever, then you know. Now, so far the game follows pretty standard uh, economy as far as as far as free to play TCGs go. You got two currencies. You buy booster packs. Although they are uh, having a patch later right now. Each deck has its faction power, and then you also get a commander, which basically gives you a one-time use. It's basically another card to play that you always have access to, but you can still only play it one time. And there's a patch coming up that reduces the rarity of all the commanders, so that's nice. Give your craft. Give players more options. 
Now, my faction ability here is that at the end of each round I get to keep a free unit. But it's random. Ooh, that's a good play. He knows I'm passing. So what this does is when it goes to the graveyard, it spawns a stronger unit. Now he can pass and automatically lose around, or he can try and uh, spend some resources to win this round. But either way, more. this guy is going to... It won't be a waste of resources to play this guy because he's going to show up again for the next round. And that card he just played allows him to uh, keep the dude around for one round. Uh oh, trouble approaches. Hmm. He's spending a lot of resources on this. Crush those vermin! That's a damn shame because that would be a good play if I didn't have Scorch in my hand. Ooh. Ooh, that's annoying. I think I'm fucked now. I'm gonna just lose now. Oh well, we tried. You don't get any rewards for losing, so no point watching that. <clears throat> if you hadn't have had that promote to gold card, that would have been a really severe overextension. But he did, so what you gonna do? Any last words? Calculated. Risk. You shall die, worm. Fine with that. Fine with that. This card summons this card, so I don't need to keep that. I like this hand. <clears throat> I could try the same thing again. And he's not a, uh... <coughs> He's not the kind of guy that can easily convert things to gold. Don't Jack doesn't have as many enough. cards that do that, so... Now this card, whenever he loses, it goes back to your hand. It's a really powerful card. And I think he's trying to do the same thing that I am. So, keep that. That's annoying, because now it's going to be in his hand available to him for the rest of the game. And I just drew two shitty cards. I'm confident in my chances though. I still got a good hand. Ooh, you're giving me the round already? Interesting. The thing about this game is that you need to be very careful about how you spend your resources. And you also need to be very careful about falling into the trap that, okay, 
I better play as many of my resources as possible. I'm... You don't want to race your opponent, pretty much. You don't want to get into that keeping up with the Joneses mentality where, since your opponent is playing a lot of stuff, you play a lot of stuff. Now, if this game does have a, one thing that springs to mind, it is that there's no easy way to look up the effect of the last card played. It shows you the last card played, but it's not like you can't right click on it like you can with any other card to look up its effects. I see how it is. You wish to play, so let us play. Oh. Isn't it worth it to scorch that? I don't think it is, but I don't know. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I probably just lost my game. But we'll wait and see. You talked enough. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked. We'll play it out though. So as you can see, I'm not very good at this game, but I want to show you at least one of each deck. I wanted to show you at least one of each deck winning, but clearly I'm too shitty at this game for that to uh, for that to be a possibility. Plus, I'm basically just playing starter deck right now. So I'll have some minor upgrade, but. Like I said, there's a patch coming that is going to rebuild some cards, and I think that the first one they should rebalance is uh, that reusable chick. Because in a game like this, she. I think she has way too much impact. Yeah. I need some to play that with fog matters. Guess I'll keep this. <clears throat> now this faction believes that <coughs> once per game I can choose who takes the first turn. Most of the time it doesn't matter. But you never know. I've used it a couple times. I know he can't score that, so I don't mind playing it. This guy automatically stays on the battlefield at the end of each round, so it's good to play him early. Usually, it's also good to buff him with some sort of effect. So I'll try and use this on him if I can. Hmm. Well, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna kill hide. this. It summons two dudes, but it's intense, so I don't want him to.
Alright. Sorry about that. I think I'm going to wait for this to uh, get big enough to scorch it. Oh, my little day. Do it on my next one and get both of his guys. Pretty mediocre use of that card. You might have some plan. We'll see. Don't do it. That's dope. I could just pass now. I think I will. He's already spent enough resources, and he'll have to spend more to get anything done. I should not have kept this. Each, unit, each faction has a distinct identity, but the general uh, idea of the game is the same no matter what. Mm. I really don't want to play her. She always backfires on me. Everything alright. Mm. Okay. My commander also lets me uh, replace three cards from my hand, but I like to save it to the last round, given the looks of things. Let's save that for the last round. Is this worth playing? It's basically a five because it's no wait, no, it's too strict. I guess it is. Worth oh, my little day. I'll save him for the last round. There is no escape. My heart will go on. Man, it all comes down to the last round. Hmm. Can still bleed? I don't think he can beat me. I want to play this to be much. on the safe side. I don't need that. Uh, I think this is a pepper it should be, and that's garbage. What's he got? Some of those sports would win it for him. He's passing. Now I'm going to choose to let him go first to see what he has in his hand. And he keeps his weakest unit, that's good for me. Mm, that's not that great. Let's get this over with. I don't have any things that need to be in my ranged slot anyway. Uh, yeah, it. Death to old one. Nobody's gonna know about that. It's okay though, because I still win. Throat's parched, bone dry. GG. Uh, 
in a level gym this game. Alright, and then the uh, last faction that we didn't get to is kind of the, uh, when you saw me play against first, it was his on uh, making units gold and interact with a lot of gold things. The in I think this video is long enough, so Slam. to end off, we can uh, get just a card keg. Goodest cards you get, you must deserve it. Card keg, booster pack, whatever. Nice. Now, as usual, you get a bunch of stuff. Rarities vary, but the twist here is that uh, your last card you get to pick from a choice of three. Now, I only have one of him, so that would be useful. Mm, that's okay. Basically a total of a seven pulling card, which is pretty average. Hmm. And again, you can't uh, look at, you can't zoom in on cards for their effects. When you're in a boost pack, which is another thing they need to fix, but I think, uh, this is probably my best bet. <coughs> so there's a brief introduction to the game. I covered a lot of the high-level concepts, but a lot of the uh, meat of it is, well, still eludes me. So hopefully, when my collection improves, I'll uh, be able to do some deck techs and things like that. But as always, thanks everybody for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.